So I'm not exactly sure where I left off, but I had to take care of something, and uh, I'll just mold these two clips together. I was I think I was talking about the topo lines on the bottom of here. Um, great idea, just for marketing in general, I guess, and the overall look of the shoe. Definitely pretty sweet. Um, so getting into the ergonomics of the shoe, um, Oboes in general, like they never look like they have a very wide toe box. Like Keen, you can just tell that they have like a huge, nice roomy toe box. But this, um, I have like a, a D width, a medium width foot, and this is plenty of space in the forefoot. Excuse me for, you know, my forefoot to flex and do whatever it needs to do to keep me standing, um, even though it doesn't quite look like it. Otherwise, um, like I said before, lace is super comfortable with those uh, little nubs there and um, it's nice to have the ability to you know get creative and loop it through wherever you want let's see getting into the weight they're definitely super lightweight for how protecting they are of your foot um, now that's a big point there because you can you know you can buy a Nike free and it's gonna weigh you know who knows like seven ounces I don't even know but you know the second you go to try to ride a trail on it or walk a trail you can forget about that ever having you know a protected foot so you know it's light without compensating anything and that's really sweet weight I'll have in a sec hang on I'm looking it up so single size 9 is 16.3 ounces um, not the lightest thing in the world, but also nowhere near the heaviest for this capability. Uh, price point is 120 bucks. Looks like this is the only color it's available in now. They make one other color for women. And uh, yeah, that's the Oboes Aret. A R E T E. Cannot say enough good things about this company. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I know I did, but you get the idea. Great hiking shoe right here. Take care, guys.